It's such an honor and a privilege to be here tonight. I want to thank my husband, Mark, and my children, Jason and Diane, who put up with me for all these years and all this teaching journey that we've been on. I also want to thank my principal, Dr. Graywall, who inspires all those around her and is a true advocate for teachers, children, and their families. Thank you, Dr. Graywall. And a big thank you also goes out to my teamies, who are my psychological and moral support. Without them, things would be a little rough. And that's Tracy Panushka, Mo Young, Sherry Prince, and Megan Gabbard. They should all be up here with me. They are outstanding educators, as all of you are. But most of all, I want to thank the kids, because that's what it's about, and their families. They are my teachers and my mentors. They're the ones who've helped me learn. I've learned to be patient. I've learned to be giving. I've learned how to be a good listener and to be empathetic and to reach down inside myself to find talents I never thought I possessed unless I was given the challenges that they brought me. So to them, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. And because I've always told them to be brave and accept challenges, like George here, I'm going to be brave tonight, and I'm going to sing you a song. I'm not a great singer, but I'm going to entertain you. <laughs> I've written a little song that is a parody based on the Crosby, Stills, and Nash song, Teach Your Children Well. Do you remember the song? 60s and 70s, anyone? All right, here we go. You who are teachers now must have a code that you can teach by and so help children learn to read and write and love to divide so teach your children well to learn to spell and multiply and feed them with your dreams so they can choose the ones to live by don't forget to use a smile as you're teaching all the while and they'll look at you and smile and know you love them. Thank you.